what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of space engineers hardcore survival um I'll just catch you guys up on some of the stuff I've been doing um I apologize for uh taking so long to make this video I've been playing some other games I got kind of sidetracked doing some other stuff just kind of taking a quick break from this game but um I have done some things I've got kind of a base idea of what I want to do with the rover here so um, I have a couple other ideas I'm gonna implement and possibly build a couple options and show you guys but this is one idea for the wheels that I was gonna do is kind of set them up like this and obviously this will all be like tucked in underneath uh, more blocks and armor and stuff um, I don't know if I want to make tracks like tank tracks for this it's super difficult and they don't really work well on terrain even though it looks cool it's not very usable so I'll probably just go with the double wheels setup instead but um, what I'm thinking is what I'll do is I have some scripts that actually allow me to um, put this entire wheel setup that I have here on a separate grid so that instead of just the wheels turning uh, left and right I'm gonna have like the entire subgrid of wheels shift over like tank tracks kind of well not really like tank tracks but uh, I don't know I guess it'll just be it'll be different it'll be more unique it'll just be like instead of just having the wheels turn left and right like every other rover I've pretty much ever built I want the entire like rows of wheels to be their own suspension I mean they're gonna be set up on um, rotors and then they're just gonna be able to rotate the entire ship around and uh, well, I guess I missed a square there but uh, the idea is that if I build like four separate grids of wheels and then have them separate from this grid I'll be able to rotate the grid in place in like a circular motion so when I'm doing like drilling and stuff it'll make it easier to pinpoint locations but uh, I'll probably get more into that as I tighten up the build um, I don't know if in the last video I had all these cool power lines and stuff running to my turret but I added those um, so but what I really want to show you guys uh, let me get some air and some power and then we'll get started on what I want to show you guys oh yeah I made myself a little command desk too I don't know if I showed you guys that yet at all It's even got my name on it. Pretty cool. Got a nice view out the front. Side, back, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so, um, so I was telling you guys about the, um, the, the giant drill I was going to put on that, on the drill ship, or the drill rig that I'm going to make. But I decided I kind of wanted to just test it first, and so I decided to put one down there, as you can see. It is massive, and I'm super excited to try this thing out. But, I'm going to turn my lights back on. I want to go down and watch it. So, I haven't used it at all yet, so this is first test, guys. So, let's, let's, oh, wow, that was close. Look at this thing. Just massive. It looks so good. Oh, I'm excited. Ever since I saw this mod, I've been wanting to put this thing in, so it's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna make it. <laughs> Alright. So, I did go ahead and set up the, uh, the terminal already, so all I gotta do is click drill. Wait. What is this? Oh, I need to delete that. I somehow, I somehow got the um, did 
Display name, advanced drill. Huh. It came up. It didn't used to say that before. Like, change names somehow. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll turn it on manually. And then. Advanced rotor. Alright, let's do this. Look at this thing. It's I just have a feeling this thing is going to absolutely destroy the earth underneath of it. This is the hole it dug out from where it's sitting. So, um, it hasn't even been pushed down yet. But it looks insane. Alright. Let's go to the terminal. Let's go to the drill pistons. I think they're all set for 0.05. Yep, there it goes. It's not moving. Oh, yeah, it's. It drills such a big hole, it doesn't even touch the ground. I guess it makes sense, because look how wide the thing is. I'm going to have so much stone. This thing is massive. I love it. I want to jump on it. Go for a ride. Is this hurting me? That was weird. Whoa. This may have been a mistake. It's spinning too fast. <laughs> oh shit. It almost killed me from standing on top of it. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of flex. That's scary. Oh man. I guess in reality I could have made the pistons faster. I was just I was just nervous about sending this thing into its grave cuz it was like 7000 steel plates to make this thing. For the one drill head. How much further does it have to go? go to the drill pistons yeah it's 0 0.05 let's do 0 0.1 Whoa, 0 0.01 uh, why didn't that work is it 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 Oh, it's definitely going down fast now. Still doesn't stop it. That's a scary sound. I guess that's the end. Watch that block kill me. <laughs> now I gotta get out of here. Pushing me out. Stop.
It's a lot further than it looks. whole thing is swaying. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much stone this has got. I'm curious now. Gotta be full. Oof. Wow. It holds that much? <laughs> wow. I'm surprised you didn't rip those pistons off. Oh, this thing's not gonna kill me, is it? Yeah, I know. Damn, that was crazy. Just chewed through that like it was nothing. Even when I pushed it faster. Oh, so I got raided by a bunch of robots with rocket launchers. And, um, of course, like, the one thing they shot was my solar tower and blew it right off. <laughs> They blew the whole pole down. The whole thing came crashing down. My solar panels were laying all over the place. It was such a mess. <laughs> and, um, of course, because the blueprints don't save the subgrids. So even though I had it blueprinted, the subgrids don't save in the blueprint. So I, I have to climb all the way back up there to fix it. So that's going to be fun. That is what it is. I do like that that um, giant drill is making quick work of these holes in the ground. I'll be able to um, build a giant base underground here pretty quickly, I think, which is my plan. And then I'll be able to get away from all these uh, robots and asteroids. some health in here. And yes, this is the Stellaris OST. If anybody was wondering, it's exactly what it is. Um, probably get copyrighted for it, but I don't really care. I did add a little more to the bridge, didn't I? I guess I did add those. I haven't built it out any further yet, though, because that takes a lot of time. Just been kind of working on other things. Alright, actually. So let's check the stone one more time. So that drill holds 20 million kilograms? Wow. 20.5 million kilograms? That's insane. This only holds 3.4 million, and that's a large cargo. Jeez. Still got some uranium going. It's gonna be a long time before it gets to that uranium with all this stone. Look at it. Look at all this stone. 
Oh my god. It just keeps going. Oh, wow. There's, there's stone everywhere that there could possibly be stone. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> stuffed it in every box. Dang. Does it say how much my... How much my base weighs? 3.4 kilotons? wonder if that's actual representation of all the stone or if like some of these like subgrids don't really count I don't know that was cool though I can't wait to make that thing like three times bigger <laughs> so yeah I guess I did add a couple of lights and uh, I was kind of playing around with some of these like tubes to see if I wanted to make them like uh, cables because there isn't really anything else that looks like cables that I can think of anyway maybe there's a mod out there somewhere that looks more like cables but it's kind of the best of what I got to work with at the moment I don't know how I feel about it yet I may get rid of them but uh, I don't know we'll see I usually catch a wild hair about some of my builds later after, and then I change a bunch of stuff, just like the turret. So yeah. I don't think I've extended this hardly at all. And this is why. It's difficult. Is this the right way? No. fell off right there. Oh my god. You ever get like that, um, that feeling in your feet where they start to tingle when you're really, really high up and you're right on the edge? <laughs> Uh, I almost fell off right there. That's the feeling I just got. I felt my character start to slip down to the left. time. What else are we going to lose today? Oh. There goes the mammoth turret. Did you get it? Nope. Couldn't quite catch that one. Some of them feel like they blow up easier than others. I've seen some of them instantly get blown up by the mammoth turret, and then other times it takes a uh, like a whole volley, which is surprising because that thing is shooting 12 Gatlings and four auto cannons. I can't wait till a ship makes the mistake of coming across that thing, though. It's gonna be glorious. And uh, if it does happen, I'll make sure to uh, pause the game and, and capture it for you guys, because I'm sure you guys are waiting to see it happen, too. You know, I had all those fights and all those ships flying over my base and stuff going on, but then the minute I built that turret, I haven't seen a single ship come anywhere near my base. It's like they know. Yeah, they all stay like eight kilometers away now. Like that guy.
That's probably a good thing, I guess. It has kept me from being completely devastated, because one of the mods in the description said that if I don't start building multiple bases with multiple survival kits at some point, the NPCs will start getting extremely aggressive and possibly destroy my whole base, so... I don't know. Guess we'll see. It hasn't happened yet. But it was listed uh, on the difficulty is very hard. Like some of the other um, NPC mods with the ships and stuff, they're like easy, medium, and they have it as like a five star rating. And they use like the same rating for most of the mods on there. Most of them are like one, two, and three stars. But there was two of them that I downloaded that were both 5 star rating for difficulty. So I guess we'll see. So far it hasn't felt that way. Oh. Death. <laughs> wonder how, how far down that is. That's got to be several hundred feet. I don't know how much further I want to go before I start going down again. I may... I may keep it at this level right here. All the way until that, um, that other column right there. Then when I get to that column, maybe that's when I'll start bringing it down again. Towards the ground. I don't know. Now my idea for this is, is it's it's too wide, so I, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is actually build a very small rover that's only job is going to be to traverse this thing. Now with the staircase, I think I'm going to have to flip them around so that the rails aren't up. I think I'm going to have to flip them over so the rails are down. For that to work. Unless I make the wheels, like, really high. But, uh, yeah, I want to make, like, a small rover so that I can get from base to base. Just by driving this track. And I have to deal with all that out there. <laughs> Especially since I, I can't fly. There's just no way. With the, with the no dampeners and the realistic thruster mods... Flying on a planet is pretty much not going to happen. Not unless I make like a plane with wings. But then it won't allow me to really traverse easily because then I'm going to need wide spaces to land. So getting up here with a plane and landing it up here is not going to be easy. Unless I build a big ass runway like off the end somewhere. Ooh. Oh man. Alright, that's enough of that. I almost fell off. Like twice. Maybe more. Surprisingly, I haven't fallen off of this to my death yet. Just died to the to the drill the other day. I do want to mess around with the giant rover a little bit though. I kind of want to like... put some more blocks on it and test around with how this is going to work. Damn, he's way out there. It's 14 Ks. Look at this, another one hit right here. And right here. <laughs> another one right here. 
This place is dangerous. I don't know what I'm going to do about the power. Does a defense shield protect against asteroids in this game? If I make a station shield emitter, oh my god, 6,000 plates, 1,200 computers, 980 superconductors, 850 field emitters. Jeez. I have to be careful with this. I did read, I did read some things about some of those mods um, with the aggressive AI. So if I put a shield. I think is one of the triggers for automatically being targeted by the enemy. So if I put up a shield, they're automatically going to start coming and trying to kill me. I think that was one of the uh, one of the things I read. Also, one of the things I did read for sure was with the build and repair system. What was that? Something just explode. Is that my drill? Oh, I should turn that off. I think the drill is already off, though. No, it's still on. Wasting power, which I have less of now. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do about the power. I guess I could put the the shield and then start World War III. But um, anyways, like I was saying, with the build and repair system, I read that um, you can only have, like, one per um, large grid or maybe station, one per subgrid maybe otherwise it basically makes the enemy angry so that's why I only have one honestly one is enough anyway I don't want more than one um, except for like you know when I start building further out I'll need more than one just so that it can extend that far because the range is only 150 meters so but um, if you build a if you build a repair bot on a ship period whether it's large grid or small grid doesn't matter what it is if it's a if it is a non-static grid and it's a ship the minute you put a nanobot on there you automatically become hostile to basically every pirate out there and they're going to be searching for you <laughs> because i guess the the game picks that up as like hey you've got uh, good stuff you're a target now so but yeah I was trying the wheels out and they do work in the uh, in the fashion that I have them I just don't know how I feel about this and how it looks so what I have is I'll show you guys what my plan is if this works is suspension wheel three by three okay so if I take this suspension wheel three by three and I place it like this just for now wait is that upside down that is upside down so I place it like that for now but then I uh, grind that off and then what you do is you come over I'm gonna get back up there Alright, you come over here. No. I don't know if my bot can get this far. I can change that real quick. Build and repair. Is it 
horizontal. him come over here build this up real quick all right and then go to the control uh no that's not the right menu sorry you have to do it through a console uh, which one is it gonna be I think it's this one. No, these have wheels. It's this one right here. Alright, so it's the third one. You go down to... Where is it? Custom data? Yeah. So the script I have, you just type in large... Rotor. And you hit OK. It's a, it's a script and a mod combined, actually. But uh, then you go slash, oops, slash wheels with an S. There we go. And just like that, it throws a rotor on there instead. Right? Which is pretty cool. Then you can take like a, a block like this and just connect it right there onto the rotor and then uh, now it is a subgrid so essentially now what I can do is this whole thing will rotate front and back so that's not going to be the direction that I want it to be in so technically what I would need to do is actually build a rotor off of, like, this side facing this way. That way it can rotate this direction. Actually, no. Hold on. I don't know. I think I did have this right. Because now if I... Yeah. No, that's the right way. Because the rotor is going to rotate when I turn the wheel. Like this. <laughs> and it spins the block. That's hilarious. Yeah, no. So that is the right way to have it. I want it this way. And then what I can do now is... Um, I'll build off like something kind of like this, like I have shown out here, with the wheels on it, and then it'll be like the whole length, or at least half. So I was thinking like, maybe like uh, six wheels on that subgrid up to here, to the front, and then like another six wheels on another rotor subgrid going to the back, and they'll be able to rotate opposite of each other making it like all-wheel steering kind of like a monster truck but with tons of giant wheels actually hold on I want to show you guys something else too I do have did I forget to add it in I think I may have forgot to put that one on yeah I think I forgot to add that mod. I do have the lifted suspensions, the 5x5s, which are pretty big and make for really, really nice builds. But I have a mod for even bigger wheels than that, and I may put some of them on. I don't know. 
Is it this one? Three? Is this the off road 5x5? Five five? Yeah, 5x5. Five five. This thing is massive already, so I don't really think it needs to be any bigger than this, to be honest. I don't even think that's gonna fit. Is it? No. <laughs> no. Not right now, it's not. Not a chance. Oh. Whoa. What the? Is there a way I could get this to rotate a very, like, to stay 180? Make offset. That brings it up. Oh. He goes all the way to the top. Oh shit. Hold on. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's that, but can I get it to rotate and stay? I think that's gonna have to be with the script that I was talking about earlier. Um, I have to put a programmable block down and there's a script that controls the, the rotors and can give it like parking brakes and all sorts of stuff. When it's on a subgrid. Um, we... Oh, I just realized it's uh, it's only connected by the one corner block. I'll have to make that. The idea would be to take the propulsion off of that wheel, off that rotor altogether anyway, but... Well, it just stopped right there. Air shot, do I need to turn that off? Uh, this will take me a little figuring out. This is definitely a build that's going to take me multiple days to get it all working out the way I want, but it's going to be awesome when I'm done with it. Steering angle, 25. Steer override propulsion. Alright. So yeah. Also, this is going to have to be way higher. Like, the whole thing itself is going to have to be, like, obviously at least twice as high up than it is right now, because this isn't going to work. If the 5x5 if the five five is that big and reaches this far down, with that pulled all the way up, which is technically higher than this block. Oh, I guess the point to grind it would be here. Yeah, I can't reach that. <laughs> Not a chance. But yeah, so that's my idea with the wheels, is to have it on a rotor base. And then scripts will be running the wheels so that they can drive, go forward, stop. I'll have to put a program block on here. And I think for it to work, I need to put a pro... Did I just fall through that like it doesn't exist? Sure did. 
Um, I think I have to put a program block on the actual subgrid, so like on this section somewhere. And I think I'll have to have one for each set of wheels, so four programmable blocks to run each set of wheels, I think. I don't know, I have to play around with it more, because uh, it's new to me. But it sounds really cool, and it gives me ideas for some really great builds using wheels with rotors, which is awesome. Didn't even know it was a thing until I found it the other day, so it's got me excited for this build now. Yeah, sometimes I just get on the workshop and I get lost at looking at all the mods on the workshop, and then I'm just like, I'm just shopping. And uh, there's all these things on there, and I'm like, man, there's so much I'm gonna do. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it all. There's definitely a lot of things on this mod list. Like, a lot. I think I have, like, almost 100 mods on this mod list, so. Um, there's a lot of things gonna happen. A lot of stuff I'm gonna show you guys. But, uh, I gotta get there first, you know? I gotta, I gotta keep building, I gotta keep grinding, I gotta keep building up my base, and getting all the supplies and materials I need but I will get there and um, my video increments may get a little longer as I'm building more and more massive structures that take me several days I, I may not put out a video for two three four days at a time just because I'm doing a lot of off-camera work so just want to let you guys know that, but um, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, I've got um, lots of new subscribers, thank you, and lots of likes on the videos. I appreciate you guys for that. Um, continue smashing that like button for me, and um, still over 75% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.